how will we be tomorrow's growing needs from food production, yet still respect the needs of the land? Some of the answers are being discovered just ahead. To help us maintain these carefully controlled ecosystems, and for your safety, please remain seated in your home at all times. Welcome to our glimmering greenhouses, where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture illuminate the wondrous gifts we receive from the land. Join us as we bring in the most bountiful time of the year. For some, it's difficult to imagine a holiday without winter and snow, but one of the most important holiday crops actually grows in the tropics. For centuries, farmers in Central America have cultivated cacao to make chocolate. In fact, cacao is chocolate's main ingredient. Today, people around the world are able to enjoy a variety of sweets and keep warm with a cup of hot cocoa, thanks to this tropical plant. Citrus, like the oranges grown here, are common in the forest, but in northern Europe, where fresh fruit is rare in winter, they're much harder to find, making them an extra special stocking stuffer. During Chinese New Year, these vibrant fruits are given as gifts of good fortune.
these gifts our parents can grow an abundance of festive vegetables. This greenhouse alone grows only about 13 tons of produce each year. When we give more, we receive more, making the most of the land's green gifts. Many of the plants you see here help um, spice up the holiday that the bark of a cinnamon tree, like the one grown inside, continues to make cinnamon sticks. Do you like eggnog? Yeah. You can thank nutmeg for its signature taste. Other spices, like ginger and vanilla, add flavor to a variety of holiday cookies, cakes, and other delights. By cultivating these festive plants with care and good cheer, Epcot scientists are able to celebrate the holidays with the land's many gifts. Thank <laughs> you. 